Welcome everybody to Baval Farm Pro Bay. Short videos of machines we test when we have specific jobs to do. In this test, we have actually two machines here, the Sampo HR46 and the MAN 12220. The job I want to do is take the, a bunch of emulsion over to the asphalt plant. A customer ordered asphalt for later and I will need to prepare the emulsion and the plant so that way they can operate enough asphalt to bring so I can bring to the customer. I talked to the store and they have a couple of pieces of equipment to try out and I decided to try them out with this job. Starting with the HR46 which is actually a pack made by HR Forest and Fartzoig's Bow. It can be found in the forestry equipment category. It is 36.08 megabytes. It is version 1.0 and it is released for all platforms. The HR46 pack includes a, an HR46 harvester, an, a Sampo Rosinlu HR46 multi-track and without, uh, with and without crane, a three-point adapter for the skid steer attachments. The HR46X is the most reliable, environmentally friendly, and economical harvester for the thinning of young trees all around the world. That is what the description says in the booklet here. The following harvesters are included in this pack. The HR46X four-wheel drive, HR46X six-wheel drive, or six-wheel, and the HR46X eight-w, or eight-wheel. The six-wheel special version has two bogey axles at the front, which ensure more stability. And the eight wheel special version has four bogey axles at the front, which ensure even more stability. Both have additional pendulum lock, which prevents the vehicle from tipping over on uneven terrain because the kink area can no longer be twisted that far. There are color choices for the rims vehicle, harvester head, and there are design configurations, protective frame, rotating beacon, or both together. Additional wheels and cutting lengths from 1 to 14 meters in 1 meter intervals. And there's a pendulum lock. The price ranges from, starts from 250,000 and the power starts from 175 horsepower. Now going on to the multi-track, which actually this machine is the multi-track right here. Um, it is the four wheel drive or four wheel the crane has multiple choices for different uses, which would be just the head changing. Without a crane, it is ideal for farm work, field work, etc. It has a three point suspension with PTO connection in the front and the rear. There and then there. An adapter for the front loaders and skid steer attachment is also included. And of course, there are cho color choices, design choices, and vehicle, wheel entire combination choice. It starts at 240,000 and it starts from 175 horsepower. And the three point adapter price is 1,200. Let's look at this one in the store. The first set of machines is in the vehicle selection in the forestry machines category. These are the four wheel, six wheel, and eight wheel processors. We'll look at the first one. The basic sample Rosenlow HR46X has 175 horsepower. 180 liters of fuel and 45 liters of def. It can go 22 kilometers an hour. It is 11.5 tons. These are the tires that are on right now. And it can cut 64 centimeters. The engine selection here is 175 or 280. The wheel brands, Trelborg, Nokian, Michelin, and Olofsfors. And then back to Trelleberg. And this one has the different tires with a bunch of numbers. I'm not going to read all of that because that's rather boring. And then there are Nokian tires. Forestry, that's actually kind of a cool tire. Forestry King F2. And then the normal Nokian. And the Ground King. And then the Michelin. Got a bunch of bibs and Olsfers, the, the normal Olsfer tires. 
And there is a beacon, or sorry, a beacon, protection grip and beacon. Ah, there it is. Okay, so. What we have here is the protection grip and then a number of beacons, as you saw. Now the colors, the main color, we'll choose blue, just the body and the cab. The harvester head color, go for turquoise, right there. Hose color one, oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, pink hose color one, hose color two. Go for dark red. And then the ulcers can't be changed with this mod, but the tire can be, and we'll go for uh, green. So those are all the color choices for this mod. All of the mods are going to be about the same for the color choices in the, I would imagine. Yeah, all the colors, the choices, everything's going to be basically the same. The color samples are, are the color options are going to be the same choices there. So there's no real need to go over everything. The tires are going to be the same. It's just you see on the front, this one has the two smaller wheels in the front, which can have the, um, which will be connected with the Ulsfers like this. And it has the one big tire in the back. This one with all of the basics has exactly the same data points. It is except 14.3 tons, so it's slightly heavier. Everything else is the same. And this one is even heavier. It's 18 tons. And it has, of course, the different... Uh, or the chains are, are together like this. Everything else is the same. Now the HR46 multi-track is actually found in small tractors here at the back. There is the multi-track without the crane and the multi-track with the crane. Without the train, the data point, uh, that took a while. The data points are the same. This is 11.1 .1 tons. And the colors, okay, so never mind. These points are the same. The edge setup, the wheel brands are the same. And of course, the options are the same. The protection with the beacon or without the beacon. There is, of course, it. Um, since this is a tractor and I have the GPS mod, there is the option for the GPS or no. And there are only two color choices, of course because this only has this has no crane or anything like that and of course you get the license plate this one will have the extra option choices color choices because it has the crane now the claw version okay this one's a little bit different this is 11.7 .7 tons everything else is the same the claw version has standard or or bales this would be for logs. This would be for pallets and bales. The engine setup is the same. The wheels are the same and so on and so forth. The main color, the claw color, and the rim color. So there you have it. This is the HR46 multi-track. One last thing before I forget this mod, the HR46 pack will be found in the mod HUD. Moving on to the MAN 12-220. This mod is made by Leslie the Dog. It is 19.4 megabytes, version 1.0. It is released for just PC. And it, okay, so this mod has a 6.5 meter custom body allowing the loading of long stuff or the cab. You see this cross beam above there is a belt attachment on the top there and you can load things over the cab it has color selection it has ic by vertex design for the sideboards which means if you have simple ic it will not work you have to have the one from vertex design i happen to have both 
It has an option spoiler, air suspension pack, uh, air suspension back, which means the back end can go up and down uh, with the mouse control. Passenger support if you have the Kabuto DLC, auto load. It is arrow free log, and there are of more options and things. This mod can be found on King's Mod. Let's take a look at it in the store. Here is the category for the the man. So if you get any other mods by Leslie the dog, they will also go into this category here. Here's the mod, it starts at 40,000. And you, when you first open up the mod, it will be completely white, but it starts at 220 horsepower. It is an automatic transmission, has 490 liters of diesel and 60 liters of DEF, 80 kilometers an hour, 6.6 .6 tons. And these are the wheels at the moment. So the design is plastic edition. This is the front here. Color edition, which will be the same color as the main color. And that's back to the plastic edition. There is either a spoiler with a spoiler or without the spoiler. With the spoiler, you can't really put things over. So you'd have to have the without the spoiler. Your animation could be either interactive control or mouse control. So you would not actually have to use interactive control if you don't want. You, um, interactive control by Vertex Design can also be found on the Mod Hub. I have interactive control with mine, uh, which I rented, or you can have a GPS. You have the main color options, which there are some pretty nice colors. There's like, for example, this metallic blue and then this matte blue. So I like the matte colors. They're kind of nice. And orange, matte orange. So on Newell, you can see all these various matte light blue. And then the rim color, you have silver gray, stainless steel, zinc, and chrome. And of course, the license plate. That is about it for the options. Let's take a look at the vehicle controls. For the sample Rosin Lu, turn on the machine, turn on the controls. So you see, I have joysticks, but I'll show you with the mouse. With the left mouse trigger, you move the main arm up and down. And then of course, the main arm left and right. Both of them together, open and close, and then twist. And on the right is the second arm up and down. And with Y, put the premium lock on or the premium lock off. So let's just load these. Oh, there is, if you see on the inside here, whoops, going into my machine. You see here, there is a tension belt. Let me put that away. As you see on the inside. So, which means what I was thinking was I would take, um, I would take these here, grab them, Put the tension belt on, and then you can load too. Maybe a little cheat, I don't know. But I think this kind of demonstration is better to do an actual job in. Whoops. Let's put on some lights. Or I wonder if this was going to be better this way. Get into the truck. Open. Ah. Open. There we go. So this is the emulsion, emulsion, uh, emulsion which I need to deliver. Let me load these all up and then we'll get on to the truck part. Then I can tell you how I feel about the truck. I must say with a little bit of practice, this thing has gotten much easier to use. At first I wasn't so sure, but I was trying to use this, uh, 
I think more of a like more of a, a skid steer or something. I don't know, something not like the way it's supposed to. But sitting here, putting yourself in a good position where you can reach both the material. This is actually an incredibly good, useful um, machine here. Like it just, it just, it really works. I actually really like it. At first I wasn't sure, but, well, there we go. And now we got everything loaded up. Shut off the light, the engine. And let's get on to strapping up the vehicle. So like I said, this vehicle has interactive control, which means if you want to empty this with a forklift or um, just have easier access to the material, you come up here and then you push the button. And this one can go down too, I think. Yeah, this can go down too. And then this can go down. So you could have a completely clean bed here. I really like this. Honestly, if as soon as I can afford this um, vehicle, I think I'll get it. It's only 40, 40,000, 45,000, depending on the options, I guess. But it is a really cool vehicle. I like it. Now, these things can be used with mouse control as well. The mirrors are in not such a good position, nor are they very useful. They could be a bit improved, but that's okay. It's a small thing. And so far, my very first impression, the handling is good. It doesn't really do much. The only problem is, is there's no back window there, but that's okay. We are just rolling into the asphalt plant now, and I'll take the telehandler and unload the truck. But first, a few things on the interior. The handling is great. It might be slightly underpowered, although I'm not entirely sure because the weather is so bad and so it might be slipping and such on the road, but it felt a little underpowered. The interior here is actually quite detailed. The dash, I think, could be slightly improved. For example, there are no turn signals left or right. I just think that the general dash could be slightly improved a little bit more clear the mirror is a little bit more clear but overall this is a great vehicle i would seriously consider buying this vehicle for the farm this vehicle has auto load but it doesn't happen to work with these particular pallets but that is not such a big deal if you have the standard in-game pallets or a few of the mod pallets, as long as it's a Euro pallet, then you can auto load it. These ones are slightly different, so it doesn't work. I'm gonna get this truck unloaded and then pick up the next load and then give you my final assessment of this these vehicles. Hello everybody, I have completed my run dropping off the emulsion to start the asphalt production, which I will do here shortly today or later today. And as for these two vehicles, I am very pleased with them, and I will seriously consider buying both of these vehicles when and if I need them for the farm. And I would recommend these vehicles for anybody who would like one of these vehicles. The man, there are some small little things with them which you can easily overlook in regards to the practicality and the usefulness of the vehicle, which is very, very useful, very good. And as for the sample, the sample, yeah, that's right. It is also a very good vehicle. I think this multi-track, I don't know, of course, the, the processor, maybe I could borrow the vehicle later for another vehicle review. But as for the multi-track, incredibly useful and I am actually already starting to figure out if I can use this for my farm. Well thank you so much for watching and listening to this well short quote-unquote vehicle from Pavel Farm Probe and I will very much like to see you on the next one. Uh, the next vehicle or the next vehicle the next uh, video will be out later and that will be a normal video and I thank you very much and wish you for a pleasant day. Have a good one. Bye bye.